Welcome, gentle souls, to another episode of Sleepy Voyages. Here, tales from yesteryears intertwine with lessons of today, lulling you into a peaceful slumber. In the embrace of tonight's story, let the worries of the world slip away. Allow the cadence of words to be your guide into the realm of dream. We embark on a tale of frost and warmth, of hearts lost and found. Every story is a doorway to a world of discovery. And tonight's tale is no exception. The Snow Queen awaits, beckoning us into her icy world, filled with enchantment, peril, and the promise of redemption. Rest assured, for this tale, like all tales in our series, is a beacon of hope, a gentle reminder of love's everlasting power, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Before we tuck you in tonight, voyages of the night sky, we have a small but crucial request. As your eyelids grow heavy, and the soothing tones of sleepy voyages guide you to the realm of dreams. Remember the peace, serenity, and comfort that we bring to you every night, just as a lighthouse guides lost ships in the darkness. Your reviews help other restless dreamers find their way to us. By leaving a review and sharing your thoughts on your experience, you are reaching out to other insomniacs lost in the night, guiding them towards restful sleep. Take a moment before you drift away to click on the leave, a review button on your podcast app. Help us extend our galaxy of tranquility to all those who seek the solace of sound sleep. And once you've done that, feel free to slip back under the covers of our sleep stories, ready to be whisked away on another sleepy voyage. Remember, Your stars light the way for others. Every review, every rating helps us create a bigger, more beautiful universe of peace and rest. Relax, close your eyes, and let the world of the Snow Queen unfold before you. Tonight, we unravel a tale that has withstood the test of time, a tale that takes us through icy landscapes and the warm corridors of the human heart. Hans Christian Andersen, a master of fairy tales, crafted this intricate narrative, blending the fantastical with profound human emotions. The Snow Queen isn't just a story. It's a journey through the icy trails of adversity, showing us that even the coldest barriers can be melted by the warmth of unwavering love. It explores the duality of human nature where innocence collides with deception, and true love challenges the allure of icy temptations. Amidst its snowy settings and enchanting characters, 
this story holds a mirror to our own lives, reflecting our struggles, hopes, and the redeeming power of love. But it's not just about external battles. It's also a testament to the inner conflicts that each of us faces. The enchanting lands, characters that we'll come to know, and the challenges they face are but reflections of our own world and our own hearts. With each twist and turn, we are reminded of love's resilience, its power to heal, and its ability to find its way even in the most trying circumstances. Prepare to embark on this voyage where every snowflake tells a story and every heartbeat echoes with tales of love and redemption. Allow yourself to be enveloped in a serene atmosphere. Imagine a vast expanse blanketed in the softest, purest snow you've ever seen. Each snowflake that falls is unique, a masterpiece in its own right, drifting down gently from the heavens above. They touch the ground with such grace, settling into place, creating an intricate tapestry of shimmering white. Far in the distance, tall pine trees stand covered in a thick layer of snow, their green branches peeking through ever so slightly. The sky above is a delicate hue of twilight. The stars beginning to twinkle, casting a soft glow over the landscape. With every breath, you can feel the crispness of the air, refreshing and cool, filling your lungs and rejuvenating your senses. There's a profound silence, the kind that only a snow-covered world can offer, where Every sound is muffled, and all that's left is the gentle whisper of the falling snow. On the horizon, you see the faint outline of a castle, its spires reaching for the sky, shrouded in a misty veil. Perhaps this is where our tale unfolds, in a land where the cold can touch the heart, but where love has the power to melt even the iciest barriers. For now, let this snowy world envelop you, offering a place of peace, serenity, and the promise of a tale filled with love, challenges, and redemption. Deep within the crevices of the world, in a shadowed and forgotten cavern, his fingers, nimble and mischievous, worked meticulously on an artifact of great power, a mirror. But this was no ordinary mirror. It was designed to twist and contort every reflection, every image, and every hint of beauty into something ugly and grotesque. When the heavens shone with purity and serenity, the mirror, when angled towards them, showed nothing but chaos and disorder. Angels 
often seen as symbols of grace and elegance, would appear as mere distortions of their ethereal selves. The more the troll looked into his creation, the more he was pleased, for he believed he had created the ultimate tool for mischief and deception. But every malicious creation has its day of reckoning. One fateful day, in an attempt to mock the heavens above, the troll flew upwards, holding the mirror, but the mirror, unable to contain the overwhelming purity of the heavens, shattered like a rain of sharp, sparkling glass. Shards fell from the skies. Some fragments were as large as grains of sand. Others microscopic. Yet each carried the malevolent power of the mirror. They scattered across lands and seas, waiting to distort the view and hearts of those they came into contact with, and as the troll plummeted to the earth, he left behind a legacy of chaos, a legacy that would soon touch the lives of two innocent children and set forth a series of events that no one could have foreseen. In a quaint town, where houses whispered secrets to one another, two homes stood side by side, their walls, though made of brick and stone, shared more than just proximity. They nurtured a bond as ancient and as pure as time itself. Within these walls lived Gerda and Kay, two souls entwined by the threads of destiny. From the earliest of their memories, the duo were inseparable. They would often find solace in the quiet embrace of each other's company, sharing tales that danced with the wind and laughter that echoed with the songs of birds. Together they painted dreams on the vast canvas of the sky where clouds became the protagonists of their shared stories. The garden they played in was a testament to their bond. Roses bloom brighter when they were around, almost as if they were competing with the children's rosy cheeks and radiant smiles. Yet amongst these rosy days of joy, a shadow was creeping in, unnoticed, the shards of the broken mirror. Fragments of malice and deception were about to weave their sinister narrative. One such fragment found its mark on a fateful day, piercing through the windows of innocence. A shard settled into Kay's eye, and another burrowed deep into his heart. Almost immediately, the world transformed for Kay. The songs of the birds sounded shrill. The roses lost their fragrance, and the tales they once shared seemed pointless and naive. It wasn't just the world around him that changed. Kay began to drift away from Gerda, the bond of childhood, now strained by the iciness creeping into his heart. Winter's approach was heralded 
by a veil of frost covering the town. Windows turned into icy masterpieces with patterns resembling delicate lace. In this ethereal setting, the Snow Queen emerged, a figure of elegance and cold beauty. With each step she took, the world seemed to grow colder. Her eyes, clear as the purest ice, held an allure that was both captivating and chilling. It was during this season that Kay, already tainted by the mirror shard, found himself irresistibly drawn to her. She looked at her, recognizing the coldness that had taken root in his heart, seeing in him a kindred spirit with a gesture the Snow Queen beckoned, and Kay was unable to resist. Enchanted by her icy charm, she leaned in, granting him two kisses. The first took away the last remnants of his cold and pain, and the second made him forget about Gerda and his past. Together, as if Bound by some unspoken pact, they embarked on a journey towards her palace. A palace carved from ice, gleaming under the northern lights, located in the heart of a winter wonderland. This realm of ice and snow while breathtakingly beautiful, also held a sense of desolation, reflecting the Snow Queen's own heart. Kay, now her companion, seemed but a shadow of his former self, ensnared in a world where warmth and emotion felt distant. Spring painted the landscape with vibrant hues as the days grew warmer. Yet, for young Gerda, a cold void persisted, her heart yearning for the familiar laughter and shared stories with Kay. She could not shake off the feeling that something was amiss. It was a silence too deafening, determined. She chose to face her fears, head, refusing to believe the assumptions of others. She set out on a quest, her mission clear, to find Kay and bring him home. Her journey was not without its trials. She faced vast landscapes, some alluring in their beauty, while others concealed dangers that tested her resolve. At times, it was the stories of all that guided her. Tales whispered by the wind and echoed by the rivers. There were moments when the path seemed unclear, but her heart always found its way. There were also kind-hearted souls she encountered. Each person, each creature she met, had its own story, its own struggle, but also its wisdom to share. The bewitched garden tempted her with its eternal summer, but she remained resolute, a crow, a prince who had changed. Yet it was not him, and she continued her search. Her path also led her 
to a spirited robber girl who, beneath her rough exterior, had a heart that understood loss and longing. Together, they braved the challenges, their bond strengthening with each shared adventure. Then, the loyal reindeer, with tales of the icy north and its queen, offered not just his stories, but also his strength. Guided by these unlikely allies, Gerda forged ahead, her determination unwavering, her hope burning brighter with each passing day, for she knew that true love, the kind that binds souls, would always light the way. Nestled in the heart of a boundless winter wonderland stands the palace of the Snow Queen. Its walls glisten, made of frozen rivers, reflecting a beauty that is almost blinding. Towers rise, sculpted from icicles reaching out to the heavens as if yearning for the stars. Inside this ethereal fortress, Kay is entranced. His fingers move diligently, arranging shards akin to a complex puzzle. Each shard represents a fragment of forgotten emotions and memories and he's attempting to form a word, though the exact term eludes his frosted mind. It's a task of deep significance, for, if completed, the word would grant the Snow Queen ultimate power over the world of winter, but outside the palace, a familiar figure approaches, her determination unwavering despite the biting cold. Gerda has finally arrived after overcoming countless obstacles and challenges. In her quest to save Kay, she steps into the palace and the vastness of its icy halls doesn't deter her. Her gaze fixes on Kay, her dear friend, now almost unrecognizable in his cold trance. Seeing him in this state ignites a pang of sadness within her, but she knows she must remain steadfast. She approaches him, her footsteps echoing in the cavernous hall, her warm breath visible in the frigid air. With a voice filled with emotion, she calls out to him, but he doesn't respond, his focus solely on the icy puzzle before him. She remembers their shared memories, the tales, the laughter, the bond they once shared, allowing her heart to guide her. Gerda begins to sing a lullaby from their childhood. Her voice resonates, pure and filled with longing. As the melody envelops him, a single tear forms in Kay's eye. This tear, warmer than any fire, falls onto the shards of ice he had been so meticulously arranging. The tear's warmth begins to work its magic. Kay's heart 
once encased in an icy grip, starts to thaw. The memories come flooding back. The joy, the laughter, the love. His gaze finally meets Gerda's recognition and relief. Evident in his eyes, together with shared determination, they rearrange the ice shards, and the word they form is not one of power or conquest, but of love and redemption. Their union, their shared victory against the cold grasp of the Snow Queen, becomes a testament to the indomitable power of love and how it can redeem even the most lost of souls. The defeat of the Snow Queen is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit while she was a magnificent force encapsulating the harsh realities of winter. She couldn't stand against the unwavering warmth of love and determination. The palace, once the epicenter of chilling beauty, bore witness to a transformation. It became a backdrop to a story that defied the odds. Gerda and Kay, having braved adversities, began their return journey, their steps lighter than before, traced the path of their adventures, leaving behind the icy realm, the snow which once symbolized separation and despair, now sparkled under their feet, reflecting their joy and symbolizing hope. The landscape, once foreboding, seemed to come alive, celebrating their reunion. The frozen rivers began to thaw, whispering tales of their bravery to the lands beyond. Their journey back was not just a physical one, it was a journey of rediscovery, of rekindling the bond that the cruel shards had once threatened. As they reached their hometown, the vibrant sights and familiar sounds greeted them. The roses they once cherished bloomed in brighter hues, as if honoring their triumphant return. The challenges they faced instead of driving them apart, forged an unbreakable bond between them, their love tested by time and circumstances, emerged stronger. In the end, it wasn't just a story about defeating a queen of ice. It was a tale of two souls, reminding us that love when true, can weather the harshest storm. In a world often painted in shades of grey, it's the hues of love and determination that shine brightest. Gerda's quest was not just a physical journey across challenging terrains, but an emotional odyssey of the heart. She could have chosen the comfort of her home, the familiarity of her surroundings, and the solace of memories. Yet, love compelled her to step into the unknown driven by a faith that defied logic. Every obstacle she encountered, every danger she faced, became a testament 
to the depth of her affection for Kay. The biting call of the Snow Queen's realm. The bewitched garden. The cunning crow. None could deter her spirit. Love has a way of illuminating the darkest paths, turning insurmountable odds into surmountable challenges. In Gerda's persistence, we witness the transformative power of love, how it can melt the iciest barriers and kindle warmth in the coldest of hearts. Her tears, born out of pure love and sheer determination, managed to do what seemed impossible. Thor the frozen shard within Kay, love as portrayed in Gerda's journey, isn't merely an emotion. It's an unfaltering force, a beacon of hope. In despair, every step she took, every tear she shed, resonates with the universal truth of love's unparalleled strength. For in love, we find the courage to face our deepest fears to defy odds, and to emerge victorious against the harshest adversities. Such is the profound lesson of Gerda's Odyssey, teaching us that when fueled by love, no quest is too daunting, no journey too long, and no battle insurmountable. In the heart of Gerda's quest lies an eternal truth. Love's profound ability to heal, transform, and redeem. The love between Gerda and Kay wasn't just mere affection. It was an anchor, a beacon that illuminated even the darkest nights. Think about the relationships that have shaped your journey. Are there bonds like Gerda and Kay's that have weathered the harshest storms? Such connections aren't limited to childhood friends, but might exist in the most unexpected corners of your life. Perhaps it's a mentor who saw potential in you when no one else did, or a stranger whose act of kindness warmed your heart on a particularly bleak day. Recall a moment when someone's unwavering faith in you The essence of Hans Christian Andersen's tale isn't just about fantastical realms or icy palaces. It's about recognizing the redeeming power of love, even when it seems most elusive. Reflect upon those who've played a pivotal role in your life journey, helping you rediscover yourself when you felt lost. In those memories, you might find a treasure trove of warmth. The Snow Queen's tale encourages us to appreciate the ties that bind us, reminding us that it's often love and understanding that guide us home. Such connections 
become the very compass of our souls, pointing the way even when all seems shrouded in frost and shadow. Cherish them, nurture them, and remember that just as Gerda's love melted the iciest barriers, your relationships have the power to heal, uplift, and bring about transformation. Close your eyes and let the external world fade away. Breathe deeply, inhaling the cool, crisp air of a winter's night, and exhale the weight of the day. With each breath, Feel the tension melt from your body like snow under the soft rays of the morning sun. Imagine a feather light snowflake, unique and delicate, landing gently on the palm of your hand. Notice its intricate patterns and how it glistens under the soft glow of the moonlight. As you continue to breathe, more snowflakes begin to fall, each one representing a thought a worry or a memory. One by one, they drift downwards. Silent and graceful, this blanket, soft and comforting, covers the landscape of your mind, bringing a deep sense of tranquility. Feel the embrace of this cold, yet oddly warm cocoon, lulling you into a deep state of relaxation. Allow the story of Gerda and Kay to linger, their journey a testament to the healing power of love as you float in this peaceful state. Let your mind wander through a snowy forest, with tall pines standing as guardians of the night. The world around you is hushed, a sacred stillness that promises rest. The gentle wind whispers tales of love, redemption. Let these whispers carry you deeper into the realm where stories continue to unfold and love always triumph. In this space, know that you are safe, loved and cherished just as Gerda cherished K. Release any remaining thoughts, letting them drift away like snowflakes carried by the wind. With a heart full of gratitude, surrender to the embrace of sleep, knowing that tomorrow brings another chance for love, growth and understanding. In the heart of Hans Christian Andersen's tale, The Snow Queen, there lies a message more potent than the iciest winds and deeper than the snowiest landscapes. 
Within the folds of this narrative, we are reminded that love has the power to overcome even the coldest of challenges. Gerda's relentless search for Kay wasn't just a journey across frozen lands, but also a testament to the strength of heart and determination when faced with adversity, when confronted by the harshest conditions. It was love that remained her guiding star. The shards of the troll's deceptive mirror could tarnish one's vision and make the heart turn cold, but love's brilliance could melt away such illusions. It teaches us that even when we feel lost or changed, there is always hope for redemption away back to our true selves. When love leads the way, barriers crumble, and even the most formidable icy palaces can't stand against its warmth. For every time Kay forgot, Gerda remembered. For every tear shed, a moment of joy awaited. In life, we all face our vase, our versions of the troll's mirror shards. Challenges that may alter our perceptions or freeze our spirits. Yet, like Gerda, with unwavering love and faith, we can rediscover our path and bring warmth back to the coldest of hearts. Let the Snow Queen story serve as a reminder Love's power is unparalleled, its warmth eternal, and its potential for redemption. In the embrace of the night, with the stars as our silent witnesses, we find solace in tales of old. The Snow Queen's tale, in its essence, is a testament to the indomitable spirit of love. Each snowflake that falls gently to the earth carries with it a message. Even in the harshest of circumstances, love finds its way. Gerda and Kay's journey fraught with trials and tribulations, never truly strayed from its path, because the beacon of love lit their way. In moments of doubt, love was their anchor. In moments of despair, it was their hope. It's this very power of love that we must cherish and nourish in our lives. For love has the might to melt the coldest of hearts, to heal the deepest of wounds, and to illuminate the darkest of nights. And as you rest your weary eyes, may the tale of love's triumph. Let these dreams be your sanctuary, where love's warmth surrounds you. May every dream you have tonight be touched with the magic of love, leaving you refreshed and inspired. Rest now and let love's embrace carry you Good night, dear Voyager.
See you in the next episode.